You know, obviously we're mile high and the air is a little bit less oxygen than you have at sea level, so it does make a difference to some of the players if they don't come a little bit prepared. Man, the altitude in Colorado is crazy. I mean, you get up here, I mean, the air is different. You gotta make sure you're in shape. People are saying they got headaches, it's hard to breathe, their chest hurting. It's way different in Florida. Coming up to this week, me and the key worked out Monday through Friday to make sure I'm staying in shape with this altitude. We're playing for the World Championships this year in Spain, and we've invited 38, what we feel, the top U17 players in the country. I'm Don Showalter. I'm the head coach for the U17 national team with USA Basketball. It's just great getting invited out here with all this competition. I mean, all these people are top in the nation, so I mean, it's just a blessing to get invited to compete against them. We're running up and down, we do a lot of drills, a lot of talking, leadership, energy in here. You gotta have good energy. You can't come in here slacking or nothing because other dudes just take your spot. And we gotta work every day, scrimmage almost every day for a good 30, 45 minutes. So you gotta come with your A game. Good boy. Come on. Get a bucket. Good move, boy. Doing really well in transition. I mean, overall, I played well. I did a really good job running the floor, knocking out jump shots, getting out, getting my dunks and everything. So I mean, the coaches like what I did today. Kevin's a special player. There's no question about it. He's got a tremendously bright future ahead of him. You know, he does so many things well. Put his skill level with his 6'9 frame, uh, his mental preparation for practices is off the charts. He has that mindset where he's just going to come out and play hard every possession, and that's what makes him special. Kevin Knox, uh, we always battle him. Every time we play, it's a battle. Uh, obviously, it's been very, very intense practices. The kids are really bought into the fact that they have to play extremely competitive every possession in order to make the team. So, a really good training camp so far. First of all, his level of confidence is so high. You know, he's playing with the level of confidence that he knows he can get the job done, he knows his skill level, he knows how to compete at a very high level. I think that confidence level has helped him improve. And also he feels real comfortable with his skill level and his position. I mean, he can play multiple positions and that's what makes him so beneficial for us. He wants to put me in different positions to see how I react and play. So that's something that I'm really good at, playing more positions, and that's what the coaches really like. So he can guard wings, he can guard post players, runs the court extremely well. So I think all those things makes him a really a great package. Last year, we invited him late to our U16. I mean, he was a late invitee, kind of under the radar. And uh, we invited him in, in early May, late April, early May, to be a part of our U16 team. And then he comes in and, and just uh, really blows the chart off for us uh, in the U16 tournament. The gold medal game, great example, the gold medal game is Canada. We were down a lot of that game. He just kind of took over the game. We were a tie game in the fourth quarter. And he had a couple threes and had a dunk and just kind of dominated the game. So well, he's playing with a high level of confidence and that's of course what we need.
There was only one coach who told me I should average 40. And that was Coach Cal. <laughs> okay. Everybody else, everybody else said 35 is a good number. No, screw that. <laughs> 40. Coach Cal said 40 because that's, that's how Coach Cal is. He don't care. Coach Cal, I mean, he, he puts a lot of people in the league. He knows how to get it done. So a lot of their players hit me up saying that he's one of the best. So I'm just going to take it slowly, uh, go up there on my visits in a couple weeks and see how they run it up there. Carter's going to be about 6'8". Cole be about my dad's height. I'm not dating you. Yeah, he tried you. No, you're going to be my dad's height. You're going to be like 6'4". Your dad's not 6'4". He went to the doctor. He was 6'4". Did you see it or did he tell you I was there. Second workout since I've been back, I was out of four weeks with a thigh injury. Trying to get my win back, a little bit out of shape, so he's been here. I'm working out with him this whole week, get back in shape, get ready for the season. Honestly, the first time I met your dad, he threw it off the glass and dunked it without stretching, so. I never see him dunk again, though, honestly. That was the only time I ever see him dunk. I'm taking the progress slowly with my thighs, so I can't really go full speed, full speed, doing a whole bunch of running and stuff, but I can work it out, getting back in shape. Once the season comes around, I'll do some more running, conditioning, and get back in shape for the season. Two. Hey, well, you got a little bit easier than yesterday. Right now, I'm just getting better on my off the dribble pull up shots. So, I mean, just shooting off the dribble. Uh, that's something you got to do at, great at the college level. The quicker, bigger guards, you got to be able to shoot with somebody in your face. One. Separate. You're still, good shot, but you're still like making that move like right here. Use your length. Really get into the paint, get him to open up his hips trying to run and cut you off before you make it. Big separation. Good. Good. One. Two. Good. Five. Tip slams and water. Two more. Good. Four. Last one. In Vegas at the Fat 48, I got a knee in my thigh, and basically you're supposed to stop, but I kept going. I went through skills, Adidas Nation, Elite 24, all those, all those big time events, and I was playing hurt in Adidas Nations. I played through it, so a lot of people didn't know I was hurt. <laughs> Adidas Nation was great. I mean, they treated us like, like superstars. I mean, everybody got treated the same. They had game rooms, all that stuff, free food and everything. So it was just a great experience uh, playing on live ESPN TV. It was my first time playing on ESPN. So, I mean, the whole experience was great. I mean, we got good gear. The people were just amazing. It was a great atmosphere. They, I think they told us they did it on purpose. They put all like the top 12 kids in the country on one team. So, of course, we weren't going to lose. I mean, one of the guys told us if we lose, they take everything away from us. So, I mean, we went out and handled business, uh, beat every team by like 20. So. It was good. My muscle was growing onto my bone, causing pain. It's, it's a little bit hard to describe, but that's basically what's happening. So I was out four weeks, took a whole bunch of medicine, so I'm back on pace now. Quick. Get a little bit lower. Hey, snatch, snatch. Freeze. Go. Good, better. Feet off the ground. Good. Yes. Good. Big lunge. Big lunge. Yes. Good. Beautiful. One, two. One, two. Attack. Come on. We got to get in shape, dude. If you go to freaking Colorado with altitude, It's over. Give Kobe offense. Yeah, give him offense. 
I just want to see Kobe playing offense. Get a bucket, Kobe. Log on. Get a bucket. Hey. Oh. I don't believe so. Come on, Kobe! Didn't you tell me you beat him before? There we go, lock up. Kawhi. Oh, no. Kobe, if you get one point before Kevin scores again, you win. I know, but. Hey. Hey. It's over. The deed's done. Go take a seat, Kobe. Give my water back. <laughs> yep, I'm not going to be the only one that's on camera getting freaking cross. Hey, you got the ball thrown through your leg, then punched on. <laughs> and you got skunked. Getting ready for the season. It's my senior year. I haven't won a ring yet, so that's something that I really want to get to. Our team's pretty good this year. I think we got a good shot. A couple transfers came in, so we have a good schedule, a good season, and I think we got a good shot. trash talking and when somebody gets in my face, I like that. I like to go on the road games and play in front of all those crowds that don't like you. You always want to go out with a bang. Last year I averaged 30 and 10, so I want to bump up my numbers to about 35 and get more rebounds, uh, or probably 15, 17. I mean, those are great stats to have your senior years. That's just something I want to do, and of course, be a better leader. Jesuit and Tampa Catholic had like the best rivalry, I think, in high school basketball, at least in Florida, from what I've seen. Every game sells out the week before. If you don't know somebody on the team to get tickets, you're not getting into the game. <laughs> Oh, 
behind him. Bucket. Yeah! Let's go, boy. His post in was too small. Hey! Let's go! but they got to open the doors right there. When they were winning, see what I'm saying, they opened the doors, and all right, now they, they don't want to open it now. But when they were winning, they were opening the doors. Coach, when they're winning, those doors come wide open, they start fanning. Now that we're losing, they don't want to, coach, if they open the doors, we're good. what did they say? You don't want to open them? Now what are you going to do? Refund everybody? Give them their money back? You got to open the door. They just got to open the door and we're fine. The air conditioning, that's what it is. It would. I don't want to start up because if somebody goes down, it's all right. They, they've done it in years past. No, I know. They, I, it always used to be open. So he's going to tell them to open the door, see what they say. I want to see the reaction now when he goes tell them to open the door. We're trying to tell him to open the door. He shook his head, no. Won't open the door. Man, Cindy here. It was water actually the damn floor. Water, I remember that. Well, he really wants to postpone it. And let's, <laughs> let's stop it. So that, that's what he's over there telling the ref. Ridiculous. What is his reasoning for not opening the door? What did he say? Because they're going to lose. But they won't say it verbally, but yes. Now they don't want to open the doors. Come on, man. Postponed it. It's a bull. Is the flow that bad? It's bad out there, man. Well, I've never seen him call a game over it, though. This is the first time Coach been here for 30 seconds. This has never happened. Why? Why'd they call it? Because the player safety. Was it that bad? Really? Yeah, it was, it was bad. <laughs> I don't know. A later date. This ought to be real interesting. Because both of us got district play. When are you going to fit it in? I don't know when you fit this in. We play almost every Friday and Saturday. Today's a great day for Tampa Catholic, for the Tampa basketball community, but more importantly for Kevin and Kevin's family. Being a McDonald's All-American is really the pinnacle uh, of a high school athlete's career in basketball. Thank you, everyone, for coming. It's an honor to be a 2017 McDonald's All-American. First, I'd like to thank God for putting me in this situation and giving me the opportunity to play the game of basketball. Second, I'd like to thank my parents and my brothers and sister for pushing me through life. In order to obtain your dreams and goals, you never want to let anyone outwork you. Thank you. Great honor for our basketball program and for Tampa Catholic in general. I, I'd like to congratulate Kevin on, on, on this great, great honor and congratulate his mom and dad for making that decision four years ago to decide to send Kevin to Tampa Catholic. Let me just tell you one little thing that happened about a week ago with Kevin. As you all know, we give a student athlete monthly award, the, the student athlete of the month. So in the month of December, Kevin actually scored his 2,000 points, so he joined one of only four people here that have played at Tampa Catholic that have scored 2,000 points. And then he went ahead in a tournament up in North Carolina, he went ahead and, and set the all-time school record here at Tampa Catholic, and he still has quite a few games to go. 
So obviously, when we were looking at who to name as Student Athlete of the Month, our logical choice was somebody who had those type of accomplishments. But when I went to Kevin, and I said, Kevin, you know, we've selected you as the Student Athlete of the Month, and we do a little thing in the morning. You guys got a chance, I think, to watch it this morning. It might have been also on yesterday. I said to Kevin, I said, Kevin, you, you've won that award for the month of December. And he said to me, he said, Coach, can you give it to somebody else? Can you give it to one of my teammates? Some of them have had really good months of December also. And I know that's kind of, you know, it's not to touch your heart or anything of that nature, but from a coaching standpoint, when you have the opportunity to coach somebody who really puts his teammates ahead of himself, I think really that's what makes him such a great player and so deserving of this award. Sure, he scores a lot of points, he gets a lot of rebounds, but if you were here every day at, at practice like I am and, and got a chance to, to see how hard he works and also how hard he tries to make his teammates better and to blend in with his teammates and all that, you, you would understand why he's getting the awards that he is getting. So Kevin, thank you for, for all that you've done for us. And that, that's the best part, the best thing that I think I can tell about Kevin. Right behind you. <laughs> Just let me know one, two, three, Dad. My dad, I mean, he's worked with me since I was little. I mean, he pushes me every day, even now. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna keep pushing me later on in my life. So he's always been there for me. And there's Hall of Famers who played in this game, future Hall of Famers. You got people right now that are going to be in the All-Star game this year that I played in this game. So growing up, you always watch those games on TV and you always want to be in it. And you work hard to get this opportunity. And I'm just blessed right now just to be able to get a jersey. So I'm just going to take advantage of it. I'm going to work hard and I'm going to get ready for the game. I mean, this is really prestigious rewards. You got people like LeBron, KD, Kobe, Shaq, Magic Johnson, all those people, all those legends are in this game. So. This definitely tops my list. My family, and it's a big part of my life. I mean, they, since I was little, they've always told me to stay humble, stay level-headed. Congratulations. They're currently down to four schools, Duke, North Carolina, Kentucky, and FSU. I've been really evaluating each school, watching them almost every game, uh, watching the players and watching how they coach. A lot of kids really get overwhelmed with all the phone calls and text messages, but my parents helped me out with receiving some of those calls for me and talking to the coaches so I can focus on school and focus on my team. because he's been in the line all game, but West Stokes just tried to bully everybody. That's all they do. Good shot, boy. Oh, God. One thing I can say about West Stokes is they're not soft. <laughs> like, they're not soft at all. Go 
the very bottom, it says next. On his head. Sorry. Punch it! This is like the one game that they're going back and forth with. Right now we're about to go into Tama Catholic versus Jesuit game, and it's the second matchup of the year. The first one was crazy. It was sold out like Tuesday, and the game was on Friday. It's like the best high school atmosphere I've ever been in in Florida, without a doubt. Like it's crazy. But Jesuit student section is crazy. Tama Catholic student section is going go crazy. Um, Coach Cal's here. Coach Hamilton here from FSU. It's, it's about to be by far the biggest game of the year, and it's the last game of the year. It's Kevin's last home game, so it's it's, it's going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy.
really competitive, and I know it's going to be really competitive practices and games. I mean, we're playing against the top players in the country on ESPN. A lot of NBA scouts will be there at the practices, so I got to be able to go in there with my A game. people there. It's almost like an NBA game. I saw D-Way walk in. It's good motivation to see NBA players there. It was definitely a great experience for me. That was my first time playing in the NBA arena. My shot was feeling really good. I mean, it was just a great experience. A lot of good reports back from a lot of scouts. They were texting my dad and everything. Had a great time. Overall, I thought I played really well. nice out here. I mean, it's really cloudy and everything, but I mean, it's definitely a nice town. And Nike out here, I mean, they're treating us really well. Nike players that's been out here that they sponsor, so I mean, it's definitely good to be in here practicing where these people work out at. It's a great event. I'm ready to play on Friday. In the USA, they take this stuff real serious. When I play on U16, U17, I mean, they told me every game that we had to come out and play hard because everybody's trying to beat us. So. USA, we got the best players in the country, so every team is going to come out and try and give us their best. So we just got to be able to come out, play hard, and I think we'll win on Friday. And it's the 12 top players in the country, basically. So, I mean, I want to be able to come out here, compete, play hard, have fun. We're all fun and games off the court, but on the court, real competitive. It's front of the NBA scouts and everything. So it's definitely going to be a great experience. But McDonald's and Hoop Summit and Jordan Brand all back to back. There's a it's a lot going straight three weeks and stuff. So I gotta be able to go out and play hard, to do what I do best. All the days I'm off, I'm working out, making sure that I'll be able to come here and play the best of my ability. I'm just going to keep playing hard. I mean, a lot of people say I need to work on my jump shot, but I thought I proved myself last week that I can really shoot the ball, and that's something I'm going to keep getting in the gym to work on. That's the second.